Hi everyone, welcome back. It's me, BSD Impulse. Oh, if you want to get, if you know me, well, right then. Uh, this is a game of I forgot what I was going to play. It's saying this is a game of um, Modern Warfare 3, uh, playing on Dome, and this map is one of the. Well, to be honest, it is the worst map. I hate this map. You know, I hate the Avengers. I don't like it. There's a couple of other maps I don't like. One of them being, uh, uh, is it downtown or uptown, whatever you want to call it, and the other. There's another one. Uh, what the hell is it? I can picture in my head, but I can't remember the name of it, and it's just bugging me. So I'll get back to it. It'll probably come, pop to me in a minute. Uh, but these are the maps I don't like. This one is the most one I don't like. This is the new town of Modern Warfare 3. But there's so many corners and hide holes in this game. You know, it is not worth it. This map is freaking hell. You could camp on in almost every spot. This map. You can even camp right in the open if you're in a certain position. So you know. It, it is, you know, a camp fest map, you know. This is probably why you like it. You can camp in the main building behind me, camp in the um, bloody uh, bunker, camp in the dome, camp all around the dome, camp all around the main building, camp around all the damn the main uh, bunker. So, hey, well, you can camp in the side there with the jeep under the crate and also down in the... See, what is the point? It's a whole camp fest. I'm doing the... As you can see, I'm doing a little bit of camping myself because I don't like the map. <laughs> That's, and I'm playing cautious. Yet I'm getting kills, my, and I'm using the MP5 with uh, suppressor and rapid fire. For some reason, I don't know what it is, but when you rapid fire and suppressor on the MP5, I seem to get kills a lot more than I do if I was just using a rapid fire or a suppressor. Uh, I re recommend if you are using a rapid fire, do put a suppressor on it. It does reduce the kick slightly, which makes it more manageable, and that's how I'm getting some kills. I can get a headshot it, uh, later on in this game, and from a from a pretty fair distance as well, so you know, be interesting. Uh, yeah, bastard off fire, man. Shit. Right, man. Did everyone watch the conference in, in Japan of the PlayStation 4? I did. I quite enjoyed what I saw. Uh, it answered, well, to be honest, I think it, uh, there's a lot, lot of people criticizing uh, PlayStation 4 for their graphics, saying it's just a, a nut beat version, just touched up version of a play, PS3 graphics. Uh, uh, that was at the E3 conference. However, what I saw in this conference, because they, they showed you part, the part, a little part of the game, and then going to the uh, talking about, it, and the graphics I saw was fantastic, especially on uh, Gran Turismo 6. That was absolutely blinding. I also like the fact that they are also got the stats online, which is brilliant, and you know, it looked brilliant. Uh, PSV Vita, on the, I'm not a PS, uh, P, uh, PS Vita person. I used to own a PSP, but I don't have it anymore. Um, I also like the PS Vita TV box. I thought that was fantastic. You know, a box. You know, you get your TV programs. You can get your movies on it. You can also play PS Vitas, uh, PSP, and also uh, some uh, PlayStation One exclusive gameplays. So. You know that is, uh, and also PlayStation 2 games. So you know you're talking that is a little fair little packet. That at the moment can only be uh, had in Japan, and uh, they're having that at the end of this year. Uh, however, I am a bit upset. I'm not so upset. I feel really sorry for uh, the people in Japan. You know, the Japanese. Uh, it's unfair that we get to have uh, the PlayStation 4 in November. So does in America, so does the rest of Europe. Yet they ca they have to wait until March next year. And I think that's absolutely disgusting. Uh, you know, the, the, the PlayStation 4 is a Japanese, Sony is a Japanese company. You know, wouldn't you think that they released the console in their country first before releasing the rest of the world? I can understand why, where it's coming from because the fact that uh, most of the games now, especially Call of Duty, Metal Headshot, see, that's not uh, like uh, Call of Duty, or Battlefield 4, and all these kind kind of games are designed for Western markets, you know, the America, uh, uh, UK, Europe, and all that. That means they have to then get a uh, set up a new game, a new translation thing, already set uh, set up for. They released, so that's why they released this slightly late because not all games are set up for Japanese, so they're going to be sorting those games out, and then they were given a date with, of March, so that's when they can release. They can release it with all these games. I also like the fact that they can also get a limited edition because of this, free of charge, you know, no extra charge, which allows them to download that game Crank. 
And that crank game looks <laughs> really particularly interesting. I, to be honest, I think it's some, that would be probably a surprise game of uh, 2014. You know, it'll literally... Uh, I think it would do well because it looks a, a fun game to play. Uh, then they talked, went into a bit more about the uh, operating system. You know, you could see the user interface, and I thought that the way they did that was fantastic. That video was fantastic. How you could be playing one game, and your friend says, "Can you come and give me a hand? I need help and help." So what he does, he goes and uh, goes into the, the market, the shop, online shop, and he downloads it. The, yet he can choose to either download the uh, campaign or the multiplayer first. So he downloads the multiplayer before he, he downloads the campaign and gets on and plays it. I thought that was fantastic. And then you also you can see his friend, uh, his, uh, his friend. He then play. He's playing crank, and uh, you know he lost to against this uh, person then watched uh, a friend of his which was a very nice young lady I mean very nice uh, and he watched her say again and he knew exactly what to do she was watching what they were doing on uh, their console etc and then she's on the mobile phone and downloads the game straight to the PS4 that is fantastic I know the Xbox one can do something similar but I'm a bit wary about the Xbox one a lot of people are saying although the control uh, the control was it no the game menu, the menu, is supposed to be just Xbox menu, but the operating system is also supposed to be a uh, thing. But everyone's saying it looks way too much like uh, Windows 8, and that's putting a lot of people off. I can understand that point of view. Uh, a lot of people like using, uh, don't like using Windows 8, but, you know, I'm going to stick to the PlayStation 4. That's if they uh, were able to uh, record gameplay on day one. Uh, however, there was a video stating that uh, unofficially uh, Hophog were at the E3 showing off their Hophog HP PBR2 and the Sony crew came over and had a look at it and one of them decided, one of the gentlemen decided to ask would we be able to use our capture devices on release day, on day release. And they turned and said yes, but it's not official, it's unofficial. They said you'll be able to record your gameplays. That was unofficial. It has been put onto the Facebook of Hotbog. And so that means, you know, anybody using Hotbog 2, uh, El Gato, the, uh, what's it, what's it, uh, Avia Media, uh, Roxio uh, HD Pro. And, you know, anyone using that, who's got a HDMI cable, you might, you would probably be able to record your gameplays at the start of launch however for me i've got the hd pvr i don't want to get the new one, con uh, capture card until this one uh, goes down and if it does i then probably get the av media one which is for the pc which is a lot easier for me but uh well apparently i can get component cables uh, uh hdmi cable to a component which will work for my uh ps4 so and i will be able to uh, record on day one i just have to pre-order that part right in the end well this is coming to the end of the game now i hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like and a comment and subscribe until next time it is me william do a look at that score now i believe it's 29 10 see you all later bye